For the increasing tolls on the turnpike keeping people off the road, State Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale says yes. It comes after a, re a report that says the Turnpike Commission is in debt due to payments that it has to make to the state. Amy Wattis is here with more on what De Pasquale says should change. Amy. Ken, that's right. The Auditor General is focusing on an act that was passed more than a decade ago. It expanded operations on the turnpike, but it also forced them to pay PennDOT millions of dollars each year. When it comes to the Pennsylvania Turnpike, this is probably about as bad a news as I could possibly give today. The Turnpike Commission is more than $11 billion in debt. The Pennsylvania Turnpike now is at perhaps its most critical juncture ever. It's also facing a major lawsuit. State Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale says the Turnpike's current situation needs to be fixed. It is now time for the state to step in and revise Act 44 that both enables the Turnpike to be sustainable moving forward and find another source of revenue that is sustainable for funding public transportation. Act 44 was passed in 2007. It requires the Turnpike to provide hundreds of millions of dollars to help fund public transit in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. When Act 44 law was passed, Pennsylvania was waiting for federal approval to impose tolls on Interstate 80. However, in the 2009-2010 congressional session, the Obama administration did not allow I-80 to be told. It was at that point that Act 44 should have been revised. It was not. To date, the Turnpike has paid $6.1 billion to PennDOT as a result of Act 44. That the Turnpike Commission could actually default on its debt payments if steps are not taken to reduce the amount of money it must pay to PennDOT every year. De Pasquale is calling on state lawmakers to make changes to avoid the financial collapse of the Turnpike. The Senate Transportation Committee chairwoman says she'll get groups to work on the issues. Ken.